so everybody, come with the great bad news that Pulse, Sonic Pulse, has either become boring or a disaster. And I found the server to prove that. So, if you don't know what Sonic Pulse is, I genuinely want to live with you and forget about it as well. But, as you can see from the chat, it's a role-playing game. Like, and not, not just from the chat, like from the start itself, it's a role-playing game with platforming elements. As you can see right here, I'm platforming. You know what you're supposed to do in a Sonic game, you know, platform and go fast. But you can also do the exact opposite and have some riveting talking scenes with barely any action. Because people here don't know how to do any action. Now, the main problem with Pulse is that there's nothing good left in it. Like, no good people that know what they're doing. There's people spamming judgment in the chat, there's people saying dumb shit. All the good people have basically just gone to private servers. Like, or somewhere else. Like, I have no idea where they are, but that move honestly is good on them. But not good on people like me who can't afford the private servers and can't find any of the good ones because they've all moved. So I'm stuck here with people like the ones you see in the chat. And so you students, please behave yourself and be kind to the com in the community server. Yeah, right. I entered your server, uh, your like Discord server, and you were immediately hostile to me. I was forced to leave. Like Jesus Christ. You're like, p trying to do, like, pr trying to prevent us from doing the things that you did to me when I was in there. No wonder I left so soon, you fucking aggressive bastards. Uh, that was a bit harsh. But, yeah, this place has gotten very much to shit. It's, the, every new update just makes the game more of a shell of its former self, more than anything. Uh, and it just kind of makes everything so much worse than it already is, as you can see by the monstrosity that I made right here. And yes, I do regret it. Some people do make cool stuff, but it's immediately downplayed by everything else, so it's really hard to distinguish the good stuff from the bad and the overused stuff. And like, if you want me to put, if you put a picture of a good uh, OC in this, or, or and an overused one side by side. I've seen so many of those in this goddamn game that I think they they made by the exact same person. Like, sure, the quality is going up for the designs, but not for the people themselves. People don't know what they're doing here, and I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I even made this video. I mean, I'm just showcasing to you. I'm pretty sure for the whole rant you've been looking at the chat and I'm not gonna bother reading it out loud because this is gonna waste your time more than I'm wasting your time with this video. But you can clearly see why the game has gone to basically hell. Now, there is this guy, this friend of mine that I have on Discord. Uh, and we talk a lot about this game and... Yeah, he's pretty good, actually. He's, like, the only good one, like, I know in this game. Like, good, good. Has a, like, is f decently funny. Uh, I mean, yeah, very funny, actually. Uh, knows how this game works and how to be good at this game in the platforming. Like, he's platinum every time trial, which somehow there's time trials in this game. Uh, and he's also good at designing things and doing what the game was meant to do, to, to be, whatever. And yet, for some reason, even if he's the only good one, that's the problem. He's the only good one I've seen that hasn't moved to private servers. Like, so the only reason he goes on is to make fun of people off the screen, like, off the screen, like, where they're not listening. He just makes fun of them behind the screen. And I honestly totally get that, because p p a lot of people here are worth making fun of, because, to be honest, I feel half these OCs are made to be made fun of on purpose. I mean, I, I just realized this whole video is just an unhinged rant with 
barely any pauses in it. And to be honest, that just kind of describes Pulse perfectly. You know, unhinged rant with no pauses in between. You just kind of get dragged along to God knows where. And you best hope that you'll be fine. You know, you'll have a... That you'll come out without wanting to, you know, find a rope and become a cowboy. And go up and arrest them, throw them into prison, you know? I don't think you do, but still. So yeah, when you're done with everything that you've seen in this game, and you've done the time trials, you've seen all the crap that's going on in the chat, what can you do? Like, you've made characters, you've done it all. There's nothing else to do. There's no replayability in this game. Like, you really only come back to this for just to make fun of others. Or to be made fun of. Depends on what kind of person you are. And honestly, I don't get it. It's not enough. It's not like replayability. It's not a thing that makes this game replayable. Making fun of someone or getting made fun of. That... That just seems a little... That's kind of stretching it. There's so many better games out there, and... There's still a lot of people here, but... That's kind of a problem with this game. There's a lot of people here. Honestly, if the game was, like, still not as popular and was more... How it was before, a small game with a good following behind it of good people... It really would have been a gem of a game. That just kind of goes with everything, like every community, every band. Band when it bad back when it was small, when the thing was small, it was good. People loved it, and then it got popular, and then things went off the rails, and it just became a shell of the form of its former self. When it was good, it just became a mess. Fortnite Funkin had that same treatment with the mod community. Pizza Tower is so close to have that happening, and TF2 is uh, was all, always insane. Like, there's no doubt about that. They're already they're already lost it. There's no going back. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of goes with every community. I I just wish a community could at least stay to the point where it's still small, but people, but, like, there's good people in it. Like, I wish it could just stay there and not just have a bunch of annoying people in it. Like, usually this is something you'd bring up for a community that's gotten very toxic the larger it became. But, like, with something like Pizza Tower, for example, this is a very bad example, but hear me out. But for Pizza Tower, it's, like, a platforming game. Like, a full game. So, like, it has no opening stuff, it's single-player adventure. So when you're playing it, if the community is toxic, that doesn't affect your playtime. It, as it's... It, the game does not follow after the examples of the community, and it's just it just stays the way it is, maybe with a few, few bug fixes if there are any. But it just solely does its own thing. Here, though, because the main focus of the game is interacting with other people, because of most of those people being toxic, it just kind of ends up being hellish, to say the least. I mean, I could have really just done a gameplay video. I could have just done anything else other than this, but I felt like discussing this. It, like, For all I know, I could have just started a podcast and started saying this stuff, but... I don't feel my speeches can hear enough. Okay, okay, I'm straight off topic. Uh, but yeah, this game has gotten boring and it's not really a game that I'd come back to unless I have quite literally nothing to do and I feel like hating myself. The thing is though, even some people call the game cringe, but like now, but back then, it, it was also cringe. Like when I first started going in here. But back then, the difference between here and now is that it was laughable. Like, you could get some content out of it. You could get some comedic mileage out of it. You could get something. 
But here, it's like, now it's gone to a point where it's like, it's just sad to look at. You know, it's a, it's a sad display. Like, where did Pulse go? Let me just have Brain Man and the, this thing and like, before you had things to laugh at, like, now there's nothing. It's like, its main, its main flaw also just disappeared. Like, the flaw that made the game honestly much funnier than it was before also disappeared. Like, it stopped being laughable and just, with the more advanced the tools got and the more updates were released, the better people got, but it also just kind of lost its magic to me, you know? Before, it was just an odd novelty, like, Oh, I can play Sonic game and make a character, but now it's just... A display of... Like... What could have been, you know? It's just a game that really feels like... A, it's a game that feels it could have been so much better, like it could have had such a good community. If only... It just went a little different. I feel there was one point in Pulse's lifespan where the game, like, had a reason. Just had a reason, you know? There, there, no, fuck, hold on. There was a point in Sonic Pulse where, like, an update or a patch or something that the devs said that if either it wasn't said or it was worded differently, the history of Pulse and the players nowadays could have been, like, so drastically different. But now we're, like, stuck with this. Complete bottom-of-the-barrel stuff that I wouldn't let anyone go near. Like, this is honestly probably one of the last times I'll play Pulse, and if, I s if you see me on that this, this game again, I'm very sorry, but still, it's just not the same anymore. It's gone boring, like I mentioned. Now, because I feel like I've been ranting too long, I'm gonna cut this short, but yeah, that's all I really, you really gotta hear about my opinion on this. It really has gone boring. There's no point to Pulse anymore. And honestly, I just miss when Pulse was still a relevant thing that has passion and joy behind it. I don't know, I don't- I just don't see that. And I probably could have just said that one thing and this video wouldn't have existed, but... Yeah, it, it's a weird story. I mean, I could make a whole video on the history of Pulse if I wanted to, but I don't know, I don't think it's one of those that deserves it. It's like, it's not one of those games that deserves a full history of, because, let's be honest, it doesn't have a rich history or, like, rich enough for a video documentary. And even if I talked about it, no one really would care. It's not like it was culturally relevant or anything. It was just like, everyone... It's just every other roleplay game out there that just let you made your OC. That's literally all this was. I mean, for all I know, I could, I, I, I can take my friend in a video, on a call, and we can discuss the history of Pulse together, but really, there's no, I don't see a reason to. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about Pulse, I'll uh, see you in the next video, my name was Spinoogie Man, and, no, my name is still Spinoogie Man, and I'll see you on the next one.